Morning, everybody. So I just set up the 13 inch auger up to the north uh, soybean bin. Brought a truckload home, didn't have the auger set up. So I'm gonna get this dumped first thing in the morning. Set the cameras down yesterday. Uh, had a really nice day yesterday, actually. It was nice and about 70 degrees, sunny and uh was able to cut soybeans pretty much all day and started fairly early for soybeans it was before lunchtime. did a handful of farms our smaller farms a lot of road work yesterday but uh there's chances of rain today uh some scattered showers it is overcast where yesterday it was nice and sunny uh, but the temperature is still pretty warm out so there isn't much dew so we're hoping to keep cutting soybeans yet today Going to get the truck dumped now. I'm gonna pull up to the auger. Uh, the combine and cart is sitting full. When dad took off with the semi, I stayed behind and loaded everything up. This can go down, pick up what's already sitting there on the machines and come right back up and make another dump. Dad's dumping the cart. I'll fill up the combine and grease it while it warms up, and then I can dump what's on the combine on the cart. And he can top off the semi truck, then he can go dump, and I can start cutting. broken sickle section I gotta replace before I get going.
I just got rolling here uh, probably five minutes ago or so. As I mentioned before in the last couple videos, we're taking our soybeans up to the home farm. So that's about a two hour round trip for dad by the time he drives up there, dumps, and then drives back. So I got some time to kill. I try to do some of these weird triangle pieces and short rows and open up the fields and spots that take longer time to fill up the machine. If I were to just jump on a nice long row and fill up the machines right away, I could be sitting here for 15, 20 minutes waiting for him to come back. So I try to kill time and do some of these odd corners of the field. I find that I repeat myself quite a bit, but not everyone watches every video and there's new people that watch the video. So I feel like I gotta mention that. Got this triangle piece here by the road. There is chances of rain this afternoon. If we can avoid the scattered showers, I think I can finish the soybeans on this farm today. There's a couple problems. One, I gotta keep this thing moving and have the truck keep coming back. Two, hopefully nothing breaks. Three, there's a couple different fields I gotta get into. I have to take the header to get off, to get into that field across the road there, down in the valley. And then there's another one same situation i gotta take the header off down the road so that takes up a bit of time trying to unhook and rehook the machines and drop the header on the cart well, i'm by myself right now but i might call phil and see if he can help me but i'll cross that bridge when i get to it i still got quite a bit to do over on this side of the road so Next problem is, I haven't really looked at those beans. I think they're ready to go. I mean, it's October 25th, but they were replanted sometime after these were planted. Um, we had a lot of damage from the geese and probably deer. I sort of drove down the hill and checked them out, but judging by the, the road here, they look good. number one. quite a bit up in the sand. I mean, it's not good at all. And then in the middle here, they're a bit better. So I keep having to raise and lower my reel. Um, these things are already kind of half falling over. And if I don't pick up my reel, it kind of pushes them down more. And then I noticed behind the head here that I was bulldozing some, just driving them over and pushing them before they can sweep into the head. So I gotta be a little extra careful and keep raising the lower and the uh, reel here.
on the last pass for this field. I'm at 90% full, so this is gonna time out just about perfect. Dad just pulled up with the semi, cart's right full. So by the time I shut this down, I'm sure he's dumping by now. Uh, once he gets dumped, he can come back, grab this last one, and then uh, he can hit the road again. Didn't quite hit 100%, but that'll be full enough. Can't really see it, but I'm starting to get a couple of raindrops on the window, I noticed. I just looked at the radar and uh, there's quite a bit of rain, looks like south of me. I might get a little bit of it, but the majority of it, I think it's gonna miss us. So fingers crossed it stays just a little bit away. I'm in the last field now and then uh, I'll have Phil come over and help me move if uh, I don't get rained out here. Well, I got some more rain on the windows now. But it's starting to look a little bit clear to the west here. Can't really tell on camera because of the trees, but it's a little bit lighter, so I'm hoping this just blows over really quick. I'm gonna have to get moved here and make a few passes. Phil's on the way, so he's gonna help me get moved. I looked at the radar probably an hour ago and it looked like it was all gonna stay south of me and then I just looked again and it's completely different and pretty much the whole state, it's raining, so. I'm gonna try to at least make one more full truckload for dad. He's dumping at the house right now. So he'll be another 40 some minutes yet. This field is next to a river and uh, the summer we had a lot of rain, so the river tends to flood this field. And uh, yeah, a lot of logs washed up in here. It's not good, but uh, try to be careful not to scoop anything up and break anything. Is that guy? Is that you? You see a little Austin in there? Truck's full now. I think we're gonna call it a day. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.